Hey, so today I'm going to go over my Ula Finance and my Money Mantras. So they are kind of two different things, but I'm going to, I put them together because that's just how I roll. And um, for 2023, I'm really trying to focus on money, uh, finances, fitness, and possibly love and dating. More self-love, though, I, I think. I think that's needed more. Um, I love and accept myself as I am in entirety. Anyway, so we're going to do our my Ula Finance Goals. Some of them I might not read because they're personal, but I'm trying to be as transparent as possible. So once you speak these out of your head into the universe, I mean, of course, your thoughts are, are valid for manifesting. But hearing things outside with your own ears and putting it out there, it's like really gets the message out. This is, this is what I'm doing. This is what I am. This is what I want. Be specific. When you're, when you're doing this, be specific. Um, you're, you're speaking it out into existence. So you want to bring back what you want, not what you kind of want, not what you think the universe thinks you want, you want to put it out there specifically about your goals, what you want, your set, okay? So here I go. I am worthy of all the riches I desire. Now, when I think of this, I think of like Goonies in the Lost Cave or like, um, you know, the pirates with all the gold chests and the rubies and you know, biting on the coin. Of course, that's not what it is, but it makes me giggle, so that's what I go with. I am worthy of all the riches I desire. I am worthy. I am worthy. I'm debt free. I have a savings account with over 10, oh my God, 10, fuck that, with over $100,000. I am able to donate money every month to the different charities of my choosing. I own my own home outright. Now, I do own my home, partly. It's still a mortgage. I, me and my mom bought this house after Julian and I moved moved out of where we were and I do own half the house she owns half the house we put the same amount down um, for a down payment but there's a mortgage so do we really own it no so on here I own my my home outright it's mine and hers you know I'm not saying that part but we own this home outright we pay our taxes whatever but there's no mortgage Money comes to me easily and often. My bank accounts are replenished daily. Accounts, more than one account. I rely on no one to pay for us. Uh, I am financially responsible. So right now, I'm getting there. I'm learning and I'm getting there. I taught Julian financial responsibility. This is so important to me. So um, growing up, he had his grown up story, and he still has it his save, spend, and share jars. So he can save, right now he's saving to get his VR set for the PS5. So he's saving, but that's his save, spend. And he's so cute. I'm saying that I needed sweatpants and he told me to take some of his money and go splurge it on myself, which he's so fucking awesome. And I didn't, but I just thought that was beautiful. Anyway, so he, he can save for his spending, but his savings is his savings. When he goes to college, I don't want him to have to work multiple jobs. I don't want him to have to work to live. If he's working, it's just so he has extra money. I want him to have a bank account to fall back on. I was told by some people that I shouldn't do that because then when school comes, they're going to expect him to use that money. I'm going to have the money in the bank for him to go to school, so I'm not worried about it because I'm manifesting it, right? And then his share is always St. Jude's. It, it hurts his heart. He's an empath. And it hurts his heart to see those kids, like commercials, who can't watch it. Cancer is a word that is said a lot. Um, two of my best friends passed very early on from cancer. My father also was very young, my aunt. So it's a word he knows. It's something that hurts him. And he donates to that. And then we have a Petco here. He donates to the Petco adoption or whatever whatever their charity is. 
And then we also give to Northeast Boston Terrier Rescue. Because they're freaking awesome too. So I need for him to understand where money goes, how it goes, how hard it is. Because he does clean poop sometimes and people will give him money. And that money gets split. Any money he gets, it gets split. And so he understands how hard it is to make a $20 bill and how easy it is to spend it, which is important. Um, Julian has 50 k in the bank, and that's not for school. That's for, like, when he's older, he wants to buy a house. He has $50,000 in the bank. Now, I know when he's ready to buy a house, $50,000 might not be anything. It might, you know, not be much. But at least I'll have it. Um, money flows effortlessly into my life. I am a money magnet. Just comes here. Money flows freely to me. I am worthy, again, worthy of a positive cash flow. I deserve to be paid for my skills and knowledge. People acknowledge my worth of my skills and pay me accordingly. Super important. When I do Reiki on people, and I don't do it much anymore because I've had so many issues with my foot and my back these past years, which is why I'm on disability. Um, but even before that, I would do Reiki, and I wouldn't charge because I didn't feel comfortable collecting money. And sometimes people would give me some money or they would barter with me. And it made me feel good because they understood my work when I couldn't see it myself. So in my future, it's, it's still... I have a positive relationship with money. My income increases consistently. I am connected to the universal supply of money. I am connected. I am connected. I deserve, I deserve abundance of all kinds. I make good spending decisions. Now, I do want to say on my link tree, there is financial peace, Dave Ramsey, but there's also a whole thing for kids. So it's like a, a workbook and different things to guide kids into learning about money and responsibility. And on that link tree is also Ula. Now I will say I do get a kickback if you buy something from my link tree. I don't know what it is because no one's ever bought anything. Um, so if you wanted to, I'll tell you what the kickback is. And I even thought about buying something myself just to see how it works. But then that would, excuse me, that would not be a good spending decision, right? Because everything on that link tree I pretty much have. So. Uh, my income exceeds my expenses. My business allows me to live the life I deserve. Now, I've worked multiple jobs. And um, because I didn't share responsibility with others in paying things, I took everything on myself. I never had enough, and so I got another job, and then that, whatever, and then, you know, whatever. So my businesses allow me to live the life I deserve. My business, my job, um, wherever I go with that. We go on vacations without going into debt. This one is already put in place. I don't use credit cards. Um, you can find out about that on Ula Linktree, and so I, I do. I struggle which is one of the things I don't want to do, but I do struggle sometimes to get things paid. But once we go on vacation, it's all paid. The only thing I have to worry about is having spending money while we're there, but everything's already paid for. Um, all bills are paid way in advance. So another little story, and then I'm, because this is becoming too long, but a friend of mine used to work at the Wiz. If you're young, you don't know what that is. Anyway, they used to have the cable company in there and you could pay the bills, whatever, when you went to the Wiz. Because nobody beats the Wiz. But um, the, she worked for the cable company and there used to be a guy that would come in and he, every six months, and he would pay six months worth of his cable, internet, whatever, phone bills. And I'm like, that's what I want to do. So that's my thing. All bills are paid. I'm going to put six months. I'm going to put that in here. Six months in advance. Six months. Um, I step out of my own way and give myself permission to prosper and grow. 
now that's not only financially, that's with everything. Because sometimes we are our own worst enemies and self-sabotagers. I have an emergency fund for a year's worth of bills. I live within my means and I want for nothing. So wanting for nothing does not mean that I live in a mansion, a big mansion, whatever. It means that what I have is enough. And if I want something, I have it where I can get it. I make good spending decisions. So if I don't have that money saved, I don't get it. So that's it. So if you want to add more mantras um, down below or wherever, message me. You're more than welcome to. And these are mine. I hope they help. And I hope you found something worthy in this video.